Welcome to our lesson about the Extruded Boss Tool. Let's right-click on the top plane, insert a sketch. Right-click in the graphic area to deselect everything. Now activate the Corner Rectangle Tool. As I mouse over the origin point, the Coincident Relation Glyph appears. I'm going to left-click while I see it to place my first corner at the origin point. The relation is thus automatically applied. I don't need to do it again later. And I drag my mouse and click again about here to place the second corner. Right-click and select to close the tool. As you can see, two sides are already defined. They're in black. I'm going to control select these two lines and add an equal relation. Accept. Now let's place a dimension, smart dimension. Click this side. Let's place the dimension here. Let's make it 50 millimeters and OK. Our sketch is now fully defined. Let's exit the sketch. Let's change the view orientation. We'll take an isometric view. Zoom out a bit. Now I'm going to deselect everything by clicking in blank space in the graphic area. Go to the Features tab and select the Extruded Boss Base tool. Since the sketch wasn't pre-selected, there's no preview in my graphic area. I can select the sketch right in the graphic area or I can select it from the tree. Once we make the selection, our preview appears. The depth is currently at a default of 10 millimeters. Let's make it 20 millimeters. For the changes to register, just click outside the field. Or you can use the arrows to adjust the extrusion depth in increments. Click here to reverse the direction of the extrusion. I can also change the extrusion depth by grabbing and dragging this handle up and down. On the right hand side of the handle, there's a ruler. If I do my dragging right on top of that ruler, then I'm able to snap my extrusion value to the increments defined on that ruler. Let's take a look at the From drop down menu in the Property Manager. We can specify an extrusion point starting from, for example, the sketch plane, or a surface, face, plane, or other geometry like a vertex or offset. Let's select offset and input a value of 10 millimeters. Now our extrusion originates 10 millimeters above the sketch plane. Let's return to sketch plane in the From drop down menu. Under direction 1, we've got a number of options. Blind is currently selected or we can use other geometry as a reference. The mid-plane option will extrude in both directions from the sketch plane. Now our extrusion has depth in both the positive and negative Y directions. Let's return to a blind direction. I can extrude different values in different directions. Let's say 40 millimeters in direction 1 and 20 millimeters in direction 2. We activate the direction 2 control area by checking here. Let's accept our work. The new feature, Boss Extrude 1, appears in the Feature Manager design tree, and Sketch 1 is consumed by this feature. We need to expand the Boss branch to see Sketch 1 now. To edit the feature, just right-click on it and select Edit Feature. Let's change, for example, the extrusion direction and accept. To edit the sketch, just right click on sketch 1 and select edit sketch. Let's change this dimension to 60 millimeters. OK. And exit the sketch. Another way to make edits is to activate instant 3D. Now we can double click on our feature and simply drag the handles right in the graphic area. Or we can enter numerical values right here. Press Enter to accept. Even if Instant 3D is no longer active, you can still double click the dimension to make changes. The Dimension Modify box opens and we can change the value, accept. Now notice the red and green traffic light icons appear next to the nodes. This means that we need to rebuild. Let's do that. Here's the Rebuild button. Let's left click on that. Lastly, let's apply a draft to our extrusion. Right click, Edit Feature. Turn the draft on in the Property Manager. Make it 10 degrees. Check here to apply the draft outward instead of inward if needed. We can also apply a draft to the second direction. 
Let's click OK to accept our changes. And this concludes our tutorial about the extruded boss command.